Something that really makes some motorists mad is the fact the law comes down way tougher on them than those on two wheels. Whilst the Road Traffic Act of 1988 does apply to cyclists, they can't receive penalty points, can't be disqualified, don't need a license or need to carry insurance and generally don't have to adhere to speed limits. If you're involved in an incident involving a cyclist, the, 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 the starting point is, it's your fault, not their fault. Introducing lawyer Nick Freeman, also known as Mr. Loophole. Renowned for getting the fast and famous of potential traffic violations, he even helped Golden Ball swerve a speeding fine. But lately, Nick has been called upon to defend more and more motorists in cases against cyclists. We're seeing far more people who are now involved in road rage with cyclists, and it's inevitable. There's, a, there's huge frustration by the motorists, and no doubt there is by the cyclists as well. I'm not, I'm not suggesting that all cyclists are irresponsible, but they do need to be legislated for, they need to be controlled, and they need to comply with the laws of the land in exactly the same way that we do. There needs to be equality. A lot of cyclists behave in a very poor way and I think they take advantage of the fact that they are anonymous, they can cycle with impunity uh, and uh, it does stick in the throat when you get certain cyclists who feel it's their divine duty or their moral obligation to cycle along with their GoPro cameras on at traffic lights recording all the offences that motorists might be committing and yet at the same time knowing that motorists cannot retaliate because we don't know who they are. If it was up to Mr. Loophole, the law would come down a whole lot tougher on cyclists everywhere. The law needs to be changed so that one of the first things that happens is cyclists become identifiable by wearing a registered number on a tabard. The penalties for cyclists need to be ramped up massively. Once cyclists are accountable, in my view, their, their behaviour will change overnight because there will then be a system in place whereby if they don't cycle properly, they will be removed from the road in exactly the same way as motorists are now.